So here we have this. So imagine everything that wet. You and who knows how long this ride has been running. Everything is wet. When there is no freaking fault, the blank tank is frozen. This was frozen. Hello you, I'm Claudia, living as a nomad in my mini Winnie Meyer V. You know that trend, get ready with me, usually young people or makeup gurus have these videos, get ready with me. Well, I'm not young and I'm not a makeup guru, but I have a few errands to run today and I thought it would be a good idea to show you a little bit of real life as a solo female nomad. Let's vamonos! A few inches later. Now it has started to snow heavier. So I'm trying to do the smart thing and not expose to myself to unnecessary risk because it's snowing really, really heavy. Alexa, is it gonna snow tomorrow? No snow is expected tomorrow. By the way, there's a winter weather advisory in effect. I really wanted to go to the mill and get some more wood. I also need to bleed a lot of money into the bank. Hmm, I gotta be smart. Let me show you. Let me show you what's going on. Oh. Hmm. Alexa says that it's not going to be snowing tomorrow, so maybe the smart thing to do is to stay in t today. Yeah, I had a plan. <laughs> And I didn't think it was going to keep snowing, but it is. So instead, I am going to see how much money I have spent so far winterizing or preparing for winter and give you an account so you have an idea if you think about doing RV living in the winter or if you have to. Some of you live in states that, and that's just life. It is not my life, but it is my life now. And maybe also I want to talk to you about why I am doing something that is risky since my RV is not a four season RV. And I know there will be perhaps damage in the long run. I don't know, but I have a, a bigger reason than any of it to be doing what I'm doing. So... Maybe let's have a little chat about expenses and reasons to do crazy things sometimes. You know what I could also be doing is finally staying in my cabinets and doing some painting because every time I do a video from the mini, I feel so embarrassed about my walls and the fridge. Look at that. And look at that wall. I have a lot of work to do and I do have the materials. I just haven't um, found the time. I'm going to see first on my Amazon account all the items that I have bought from there. And then um, I look into all the other sources like Lowe's and Home Depot, of course. <laughs> there's nothing there, there's nothing there you know. Don't push away, don't push away, keep your head low. There's nothing there. As you have uh, watched me struggling during this weather and trying to keep up with protecting the RV and the pipes, 
you have given me a lot of suggestions and some of you have said why don't you come back to california or go to arizona or you know your rv is going to get destroyed you're going to destroy your rv because my rv is not a four season rv and oh, i feel overwhelmed because all of you are right all of you are right. I should be in Arizona. I shouldn't expose my RV to these weather conditions. And I shouldn't be spending the money that I am to try to keep up with the weather. However, the reason why I'm here, it is beyond me and beyond the weather and beyond destroying my tiny home. I am here to help my disabled son. He has Down syndrome. He is going to be 21 in early January, but he, mm, he's being kept. <sighs> it is so difficult to, for me to talk about this because I love my son so much. So I'm here to fight for his rights. And this is an uphill battle. And it's costing me money that I didn't need to be spending, you know, in attorneys and all of that. A lot, like big thousands, thousands of dollars that they could be, have so much better use. Like I could put that money to help my son in different ways, in other ways, not in attorney's fees. I am emotionally struggling and I am trying to be strong and continue to show you that no matter what comes up to uh, you, <laughs> you can get out of it. I'm sorry, I didn't expect to feel this, but... Oh. Life can be very unfair sometimes. I'm not, I'm not a saint. I want to establish this. Um, I get angry. I get moody. I'm a human like anyone else, but I am trying. I'm, I'm really trying to do the best that I can. And I'm trying to improve myself and I'm trying to be kinder. But what I'm trying the most now is to help my son because he deserves so much. I, I cannot tell you much about this because as you know, legal matters are delicate and um, it is always advised not to, um, to expose much about a case, an ongoing case. So I'm trying to, to do that. And as, at the same time, I'm trying to convey to you what I'm going through and uh, yeah so as much as I would like to take your advice and go to Arizona and be with all my snowbirds friends and do quartzite like I did last year and be at the RTR or be in another state be in Florida you know my plans were different and I'm not having a sole vacation per se, but I want to keep the name on my channel because it is a reminder to me of why I started this channel and what is the reason to continue with the channel. And the reason is because I am going to overcome this. This is an ugly situation. It's terrible for my son. But I am going to overcome it and I'm being vulnerable by sharing this with you because I know you're struggling too. I know that some of you are suffering with health issues and, and I know that we all as humans struggle from time to time and sometimes we struggle for way too long and 
I want to show you the process of my struggling and how I will overcome it. So as much as I would like to take your recommendations, I can't. I have committed to be here until I succeed helping my son getting a better quality life. He deserves everything. He deserves to see the places that I have seen, to know that the world is so much bigger and there are wonderful people in the world. But I am getting a little bit nervous because I have a condo in California and I have a tenant and my tenant has been there for, I think, over a year. And she's moving out at the end of December. So the condo is listed for rent again starting January 1st. However, I have not really committed with any possible tenants yet. So um, I'm a little bit nervous because I'm living now off my savings. And I, I, I remember in another video telling you that I will be looking for work, but I can't look for work yet because um, I'm going back to California later this month to um, take care of the condo situation and hopefully place a new tenant. And so after I do that, I'll be able to commit to a job if that's what I need to do. But we'll see. We'll see. I will continue to work on my channel. I know it has been a very, very slow growth for me. So I appreciate so much you watching my videos and commenting. And that's how you can help me. If you just watch my videos and comment is all that I ask of you as my friend viewer. <sighs> Thank you so much for supporting me and understanding me and laughing with me and growing with me. I really, really appreciate you. I know I'm a softie and I have said this many times, but you really mean a lot to me. And this channel is all about all of you. <laughs> Without you, it's, it's, there's no channel. So you're very important and even more important to me right now while I struggle to help my son and and stay above the snow <laughs> and stay away from frozen pipes and just living, just living. I still find beauty in life. I still enjoy watching the mountains from my windows and I still will make beautiful videos about our beautiful world because it is a beautiful world and you are beautiful. And yeah, life is worth living. So that's what I am now and that's why I am taking the risk that I am taking and I will deal with the consequences as they come <laughs> because I can't deal with everything at once. So that is why I am putting myself through this weather for my son. Thank you for watching and I apologize that you know, sometimes I, I say that I, the next video is going to be about a certain thing. Like the last time I did the video about my tow bar and the next video I wanted to be about towing. But then the weather happened and I wanted to show you something that may help you if you are dealing with the weather as well. And I'm not complaining. This is my choice. I knew that this will happen. I didn't know how to pre prepare for it, but I am learning. But this is not a complaint. I'm not complaining about my choice because it is my choice. And I'm happy that I can be here and help my son. And it makes me so happy to see him happy to have me. You know, he when I wasn't near, he would say, Mom, when are you going to pick me up? Mom, where are you? And can you pick me up? And I just couldn't continue to enjoy my life like I was and I couldn't continue with my plan because it didn't bring joy to me anymore 
when I was calling my son every day to check on him and every day he would be sad. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. So I had to be with him. I had to be with him. Having my son has always been my choice. And being with my son now, it is also my choice. So I am not complaining. I'm just telling you what I'm going through and why uh, my channel isn't as perfect or beautiful or consistent or from, you know, topic to topic like other channels. But it is authentic and I am as transparent as I can be and I hope that you understand. Thank you. I appreciate you. And please continue to watch. And let's get together on the next one. Ciao. Mwah. Oh, and one more thing. I'm not looking for you. I'm not looking for pity. And I'm not looking for, you know, to be the mother of the year either. Uh, I'm just looking for understanding and for you to to know what I'm going through. That's it. That's it. And why I'm making certain choices, like spending the winter in Utah with a RV that is not a four-season RV. That is it. So... You are my